To an update on breaking news we first told you about last night at 11. One person is dead and four others are recovering after a police chase ended in a deadly crash. The car crashed into a tree and then split in half. In the car, two adults, two teenagers, and a nine-year-old. The investigation to why the driver of the car refused to stop for police continues this morning. Let's send it over to 7 Action News reporter Nima Shafe, who joins us live outside of DPD headquarters. Nima, what's the latest? A new good morning. We know one of the adults, a female that was in the passenger seat, died as a result of her injuries in this crash. The male, the driver in this case, taken to a nearby hospital in critical condition. A nine year old boy inside the car, too, suffering two broken legs, and an 18 and 19 year old inside the car in temporary serious condition this morning. What's not known by Detroit police and why the investigation is still ongoing is why the car refused to stop. The image is now showing a white Fort Taurus there on your screen, split into two. The vehicle forced to wrap around a tree. After it overcorrected itself during a chase, being chased by Detroit police. Police telling me this morning the driver wouldn't stop for them after blowing through two nearby red lights. Speeds never got over 53 miles an hour, and at one point, officers too were forced to slow down and drive around a barricade. The tourist swerved to miss a car coming at it when it hit a bump in the road, overcorrected, and slammed into a tree. There's some suspected narcotics inside the car. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's the reason why he um, tried to get away or the car does not appear to be stolen. Assistant Detroit Police Chief Steve Dolan there saying that the car did not appear to be stolen, but they did find suspected narcotics inside the vehicle. At this point, again, a woman is dead. The male driver of the vehicle in critical condition, a nine-year-old boy suffering two broken legs and an 18 and 19-year-old in temporary serious condition. Well, the latest on this investigation as the day goes on and as police provide the information. We're live this morning outside DPD headquarters. I'm Nima Shafe, 7 Action News.